Social networking is also quite related to, to jail because usually you want to know where the people are, where can I find somebody, where can I find a, a friend, uh, where is he moving, etc. Et and uh, you know such sites like Facebook, LinkedIn and, and others. And one of them is the uh, alumni portal site as, as well. I think this is also uh, one way of social networking, but there's a strong competition, of course, with such giants as Facebook and LinkedIn. Okay, so there is some, so one opportunity related to it is the wisdom of crowds. You can involve many, many people for certain purposes, and therefore you're, you might be able to achieve great results. Um, I'd like to mention, for example, uh, well, as well, uh, the most impressive example is OpenStreetMap, where many people are, uh, invest their, their time, their local knowledge, to establish an open geodata repository. Okay, and important is there should be some free tools for the community that they have, they can use and they can invest and, and um, go on. Now I'd like to move forward to mashups in general. That was still about some benefits or some characteristics of <coughs> Web2.0. Now concerning mashups, originally it's, as I have read, it's related to, to music. Somebody rearranges different flavors, different melodies to create something new, mix them up, music. And this has been transferred to other mixtures as well. And we, I found some uh, definitions, like a combination of one or more data sources, a unified interface and experience. It's very important, more than one data source. And typically, all these mashups are based on so-called application programming interfaces. What are pro application programming interfaces? Perhaps if you are not familiar with programming, you will be some, somehow uh, terrified about this term. But it's just a description how you can use a certain service in the Internet. It's just like a, how can you use a photograph or something else? How can you use a, another service? And there are, I will, in a next slide, I will show you some, some of these a, APIs, which are widely used. And one company very engaged in this field is Google. Why are they engaged in this field? Because with their API, they open, their repository, they attract developers, and with the developers, they attract visitors, and with the visitors, they attract money. That's the idea. And therefore, they, they, they proclaim some openness, but it's not uh, like beneficiary something, not only from giving money away, so it's, only, it's about earning money. Okay, there are many, many mashups available. That's not the current, that's not, it's from, from last year, a value. There are several hundreds of APIs of different flavor, and um, there are, as you, can, as you can see here, Twitter, Technorati, OnTalk, Google, 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 many Googles, uh, Geocoder, etc., Dig, eBay, and there are some institutions doing um, um, some statistics about these measures. And what you can see is that more is that Google Maps is the leading API, is 46%. Let me say, for the, of the whole cake, half of any Mashups is based on geodata. It's based on Google Maps, and therefore you can recognize the, the importance of our uh, 
field of work. It's different from the traditional field of work, being surveying for the cadastre or such things. Okay. And you can search, for example, using Google, um, Google, Google Trends, and you see how, how the mashup uh, is um, the, the relevance of, according to Google, of, of mashups increases in, in every year. And of course, in the United States. Another uh, thing I, I found was a, a survey of, of Mac, McKinsey that uh, they asked, I think, important, important com companies, and this is also said more than 21 of all the companies want to use such mashups. Mashups in general, not, not only mashups based on geodata. Well, the benefits of such measures is that quite easy to create. It's possible for me, and we can do it with, with our students as well in, let me say, in three, in, no, five hours, using free APIs, using free data sources. We can tailor the data sources, and uh, usually you have to provide some tools and functionalities. The technological background is a, a password which is Ajax. Ajax, ever heard? The hero of, of the old fleet from Troja, fighting Troja or the football club in, in the Netherlands. Here is it's called um, asynchronous JavaScript and XML. It's, it's just a principle for fetching data from the server to a local client. That's, that's a may so it's a basic thing. It's nothing big, it's just fetching some data. Um, using fast, in a fast way, and providing so-called responsive web applications. Um, the, the basic thing is, can be seen here in this uh, sketch. On the left-hand side, it's a traditional way of communication between the browser on the client side and the server, the web server on, the, on, on this side. And usually, traditionally, it was like playing table tennis. Ping pong, ping pong, going forward and backward, sending a request, getting a response, sending a request, getting a response, which is time consuming and boring sometimes, worldwide wait. And on the right side, you see um, here an additional level, an intermediate level, which is used for sending HTTP requests to a server. It's somehow here the whole web page is transferred, and here you have only partial data, which are transferred uh, in requests from the client to the server and vice versa. Here it's called a checks engine, but in fact it's just on some, some JavaScript source. The main thing behind it, uh, oops, is uh, or the main things behind it is 